I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for it Hey guys, hey. back again with the Vampire Diaries This is season 3, or sorry, season um, 7, episode 3 um, I'm sorry, I guess we'll do that again I had the title, but you was in the bathroom too long, I forgot Age, Age of, of Innocence, innocence. Okay, okay. Hey guys, hey. it's Becca again with Vampire Diaries. This is season 7, episode 3, Age of Innocence. So, last we left off with um, quite a few things, I guess. Uh, so, um, in the past, we got, uh, or the present, I should say, um, uh, Stefan's mob took Elena, she has him hidden. We don't know um, where Elena's body yeah. is right now. It's in, it's, this is a um, consequence of Damon and Bonnie going to kill that guy. Yeah. Not knowing the repercussions, you know, so... I think maybe yeah. they were trying to show some force, but it backfired yeah. because it just made them... It just angered yeah. them. Um, so, and now we keep on getting these flashbacks of... Flash forwards. Uh, sure. I'm sorry, flash forwards of maybe someone... Someone looks like a girl. Yeah. Uh, someone is hunting them. Yeah. So and now... the same mark, too. Oh, yeah. Um, who has the mark? Uh, the guy with the mute has that. Yeah, but who has the mark? Damon or Stefan? Uh, Stefan has it. Yeah. Stefan has the same like mark on yeah. him, um, so we think it's maybe one of them that's yeah. hunting them. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. If I um and also um again um I think that they're really under under um uh, was it undermining? Yeah, uh, they're not um they're under. Ah, my God, they just don't know what they're dealing with you know with the witches and the vampires i feel like they think that it's just simple you know i feel like uh damon and stefan are just <coughs> going they're underestimating yeah that's it okay. underestimating that these witches are it took like a group i think it's like a coven or something like that to imprison them you know so obviously they're the heretics yeah, the her yeah these yeah they uh, uh, prison the heretics so obviously they're very powerful mm -hmm. so kind of feel like them half-assing it is not going to get it done. I feel like you'll be very smart about these plans, about how to approach killing them. Um, because they tried to get yeah. Caroline out, but yeah. they took, I felt like they took too long. Yeah, they were just <laughs> they were talking. very fast. Like they could just, and yeah. Caroline also has a spell on her, yeah. so no one can touch her. Yeah. So I think that's because that one chick has a crush on oh, Stefan. Stefan. Yeah. It just comes across like I forgot. I I would use my um, what I would do with these people is I would use my uh, like the outside world as an advantage, like time as an advantage. Like they don't know that they don't know nothing about bazookas or uh, snipers or something like that. I would like personally what I think I should I would do in this scenario is get a couple. You gotta be really fast about this. Get a couple of snipers. Shoot them in the head and then get a couple of vampires go over there and take their fires out. Boom, bada bing, that's it. You know? I feel like you can kill them that way. You know? I mean. But there will be no show. <laughs> but that I means that's. Snipers, like, they, they had snipers, I mean, people who kill from afar. That's not something new. Well, I know, but I'm saying. Uh, no, they didn't have snipers back in the day. They didn't have. Because uh, they didn't have long range snipers. Because they were prison in, in 1904 or 1903. So they weren't like snipers that they are today. You know? So you could shoot them with a distraction shot and then have some other vampires go real quick and take their hearts out because apparently um, hearts, I mean, that's how they took out the other guys. So they're not immortal, but you can kill them. Um, I was also thinking about the, um, I don't know, because this is in the same universe, but you know how in the originals they have those chains that can stop witches? Uh huh. Do they know about that? Because if they did, that could be kind of helpful. True. You know, just get some change, put them on there, and they can't do nothing. But I don't know if they know about that, though. I don't know. Mm. Let's just um, start anyway, it. Anyway, let's just start it, yeah. guys. If you guys want the full reaction, check out the Patreon. Link's in the description down below. And we're also cover episodes ahead on the full, uh, the edited as well. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's dive into the show. Listen to me. My scar opened up. I don't have much time. I need you to warn Caroline. She's not taking my phone calls. Okay, I'm on it. But you should be running. I'm way ahead of you. Yeah. Take care of yourself, Dad. Tyler's still in this three years from now, too. <laughs> Who did you piss off, man? Oh, you can't this car? Oh, I love that car. Why do you need a bird?
burning, so. Oh, 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 his journal. Well, that's not big of a deal. He burned his journals before. Oh, and because she touched that thing, yeah, she's, she's having these, these like flashes, too. and it's like she blacked out, actually. Yeah. You know, how long do you plan on crashing here, Damon? You know, you could compel yourself a whole sorority house if you wanted to. And this, this odd couple squalor? Yeah. I'm starting to enjoy the luxury of having one barely functional shower head after years of being tortured by the four that I have in my actual home. Put down Lily's little lone wolf heretic and swap them out for my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, and uh, how long until that happens? Huh? Pretty soon, thanks to Donovan. You know the other thing I'll do too? I'll actually kill Enzo because he's a wild card okay, at this point. You. Please tell me I'm not interrupting. Any plan? Because it actually, I think it's going to be interrupted by him. That Phoenix Stone. Stone's gone. I, you know, why? Why are you lying? Dissolve in hydrofluoric acid. You're positive. Honey, Stone's gone. Who wants to go in my room, Paige? I'm busy. It's so there. was like a fresh breath of air. Oh, she's reading. I've been suffocating and I didn't realize it. Ooh. I'll be sitting here thinking. I want to be reading. Was that her phone? Yeah, but there's nobody to get out of here. Hello? So kind of Carolyn? Stefan? How are you on my phone right now? Uh, you must have dropped it when you got threshold vacuum out of here. Oh, Lily's only keeping you there to turn me against Damon. I'll convince her that I hate his guts and she'll have made her point. Who's Valerie Tolls? You wrote about her in your journal from 1863. She must have found a copy in the prison. Are you talking about one of the heretics? Yeah, dirty blonde hair, blue eyes. She's one of my oh, you know? housemates. Ooh. Summer is me to a T. Carolyn. She's not gonna like that because you talk yeah. bad about her. She's living in my house to stop torturing Caroline. Of course. As soon as you tell your brother to stop killing said spoiled brats. Damon and I aren't speaking right now. Really? No idea where he is. Apparently, you did both of us a favor when you told him to leave town. Is one of those girls named Valerie Toll? I was wondering when you might put those pieces together. I knew Valerie years before you did. She worked in my TV ward. How would you know when I met her? Because, Stefan, I sent her to you. Oh. You have to move. Excuse me? Your sad mood is spoiling the fun for everyone. <laughs> I'm Valerie Tell. Stephen Salvatore. Oh, I don't it's think he's possible. a vampire. What was the deal with you and Stefan? Wouldn't you like to know? You know what, you're right. I'm already in enough pain. The last thing I need to think about is some girl who battered her eyelashes at Stefan like a million years ago. <laughs> that was the first love of Stefan's life. Oh, was she? Uh, what about fucking... So that whole... So she, she was book? the first love meeting before, meeting before Catherine? Did you send Valerie to me? To check on you. Like any mother longing for her children, I was in a black hole of depression. Yes, Stefan, I'm more than the cold-hearted snake you and your brother wish me to be. You are? Okay. It took me a long time to get over losing you. You got a boyfriend? His name was Julian. What you're acting as if that's absurd. Well, your first husband shot and killed his own son, so you'll have to excuse me if I don't trust your yeah. child. Julian was nothing like your father. No. Julian was the man you were not supposed to fall for. So, of course, I did. For the soldiers! Oh, he looks very familiar. I mean, is he in the originals? I think it's in the originals. The men on the battlefield. He wants that one? There's like a bunch of them in front of you, but you want that one way over there. Delicious, I promise. Babe, that's the rule. Is this you want the one that you <laughs> see talking to like the other guys talking to? Stefan, meet Julian. Uh, oh no, maybe they know each other. And I were just yeah. Appreciating the scientific wonder of gravitational force. This is not my father. Oh, uh, my apologies. I just assumed incorrectly, as it turns out. Valerie, darling. Oh, You're wrinkling my dress, Julian. For us to keep our distance. Do not displease her. I have everything under control. I was lying. I wasn't prepared for how taken I was with him. He was gorgeous. 
Shakes just love stepping. <laughs> I mean, shit, what the hell has he got? All those nice things about you, and it's like the only magic I had was contained in an amulet to be siphoned in times of need. Oh, that jewel, baby? You're a chaperone. Then we shall elude him. What are you doing? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah, I don't know. I can't yeah. see because she was blocking it. How did he not see us? Does he believe me if I said that? I know why you put that burning spell on me. It's not so Mary Louise and Nora couldn't touch me. It's so Stefan wouldn't. Be more obvious. Well, since you're so curious, please allow me to continue. Oh my god, maybe they are! Yeah. I thought they, back then you don't really have booty calls. I guess that's true. Sure. Until you're married, I think. He wants to be the one to undress her. Do so they're going to? So this is how he lost his virginity? It was his first time. Yeah. I'm sure you've been someone's first. So you know what it's like to have a complete... Yeah, the first is always important, especially for... Unforgettable face in someone else's mind. Yeah. That was forever ago. Yeah. It doesn't matter. But you still remember your first babe. That's why I said I never want to be a girl's first. I want to be scattered in the middle. That's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> of course I know you. It's good to see you well, old friend. Come here, man. Hey. All right. Uh, did the mom know that he's coming? Come here, come here. How do you know Damon? Uh, he's Lily's son. The hero soldier. <laughs> yeah, you've heard told her. Uh, well, your mom was going through a rough patch. She could not move on until she knew her boys were okay. So she sent me out to find you. My mother abandoned her family and ran for the hills. She didn't give a flying crap about me. I sense hostility, and that's fine. All emotions. <laughs> is he like high or is he high on blood? Here. Does my mom know you're here? Hey, hey, hey. Shh. He's <laughs> <laughs> kind of annoying, isn't he? Oh, uh, yeah. <sighs> what about those sticks and twigs in your ass? <laughs> this is my mother's grave. Yeah. Come here every day to place the flowers. So you did forget about her. She's been dead for six years. But she had consumption. One day her coughing would not stop. My father sent me to go buy some flowers to make an herbal tonic. I ran to town as fast as I could, but by the time I got home with the flowers, she had been taken to the sanatorium. Never got to say goodbye. Uh. She died in the TB ward shortly after. Were these the kind of flowers you accepted for? Yes. Cream. Cream violets. Mm. The tonic would not have saved her. That's an old wives' tale. That's nice of her to give. Yeah, yeah, I think more problem. he was upset because he didn't get to say bye. Well, I also think he also thinks it was but his fault. Something wanted you out of the house to make it easier for himself. Yeah. No matter what, you could not have saved your mother. Her death is not your fault. Yeah, that's what she's trying to say. It's mm. your fault. It's... Yeah, well, that's. Yeah. I expected you would visit here sooner or later. Sir, if you would just let me explain. We are leaving for New York. Now. I did not mean to disobey you. It was not me who you disobeyed. Come with me now and we will speak no more of it. Where's Captain, this guy at? When will I see you again? I will find my way back to you. But is he a heretic too? I don't know, but I'm sure we're gonna get him yeah. eventually. Like, it's kind of like the notebook, except you two never reconnect and he totally forgets about you. He probably didn't. And she has a family on a short leash back home with this whole, I took you in as orphans, so I know what's best for you, bud. No, thank you. You know, you can get a drink served to you in a fishbowl here. <laughs> oh, hey, the other day, before you, my friends were playing with some mystical tools I didn't quite understand, and now Bonnie's chasing her own white rabbit around the farm. So you want me to, what? Siphon her problems away? Just think of it as one big magical duck. <laughs> okay then, come on. Okay. Simple. Just don't 
jumper bunny. You did it on purpose, huh? Yep. Where's the Phoenix Stone? Oh, he knows it's called yeah. the Phoenix Stone? What are you people up to? This beating was by a Oh, shit. Oh, he took the stone. Uh, how is that possible? When yeah. Destroyed it? <laughs> we need to find it right now. So the visions, the lost time, the crippling headaches, they don't mean anything? Does it matter to you? Of course they matter. I'm trying to get my wife back. Go bringing Joe back. Yeah. Back. You don't even know what this stone does. We came back. We got our second chance. We were on the other side. Yeah. Okay? It doesn't exist anymore. Joe is the love of my life. And if there's even a Didn't you say that about the other woman too? Do you love them? They're all dangerous or insane. It's true. Find another one. I mean, wishing I the next one will be the love of your life. <laughs> I long to be in your arms again. I sent you on to run away with me. I had a telegram sent to meet her Friday at noon. I showed up two hours early. He waited and waited for me. Mm. Sat around all day like an idiot. Past sundown after nightfall. But she never showed up. So, yeah. I guess you could say I'm wondering what the hell the whole point was. Uh, uh, Surely you're not still angry with her. It's a long time ago. People get over it. It's uh, 150 years ago. Yeah. But he didn't get over it. You don't get over stuff, stuff like that. Yeah, how could you do that to him? Was she in prison at that time? That was a change in the plan. Huh. Yeah. Before sunrise, on the very day our ship leaves for England. Let me pass, I'm not going. Yes, you are. Because Lily will not travel anywhere without her precious little orphans, and it is imperative that I leave today. But do I frighten you? No. Because I can hear your heart beating fast. Oh, did this how she got turned to a vampire? Oh. Does Stefan Salvatore know that you are pregnant with his child? What? Oh my god! So there's a little, there's a little Stefan one around somewhere? I lied. I don't care about the stone. Then why are you chasing me, man? Let's just say I'd like to cash you in for something way better. I kind of like him though! But you have to, yeah, there you go. You can't come in with a cocky ass. You gotta have a plan. Let's go make a deal. Um, I don't know. I think that's a stupid idea to give it to Rick. Miss Valerie. Nora, remove the barrier spell, please. As of this moment, Miss Forbes is no longer a prisoner. Okay, good. Oh, is this one of those mean girl tricks? No. It's a reward for Stefan's honesty. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Oh, is this the same spot? Yeah? No, it is. Oh, she's gonna talk to him. Seems appropriate. The same yeah. spot. It's strange to be here with you. Finally able to tell you the truth. Please don't tell Lily. Well, you have your reasons for staying here. Oh, if she kills him, then there's no baby. Oh my god. This is kind of dark. Well, they did kill twins last season, so I can't really... Yeah. Julian solved his dilemma by beating the senses. Till I was left near death. What is she having this yeah. And the other heartbeat inside me stopped. No. Um. When I regained consciousness, I was on the ship to England. Oh, there he is. Lily yeah. said Julian had found me robbed, beaten on the street. I... Julian knew I could never tell Lily what he had done, as that would also have exposed my lies. So he's a dick. I didn't want to live under Julian's thumb. So that night, as we crossed the Atlantic, I drew myself a bath, laced my Oh, kill yourself, but there's blood in... And he went quietly to yeah. sleep. I technically you can't do that because. But I died with Lily's blood in my system. Yeah. Oh, she came back and by virtue of pure happenstance, I became the first heretic. Oh. 
Okay, how do you become a heretic? Because witches cannot be vampires. Yeah. Well, they so, changed it. No, because remember when Bonnie's <laughs> mom got hit, then she could have been a heretic. So, I don't get the rules of how this person became one. Oh, oh, she's not there. Maybe you never left. Oh. oh, was she? Did the invisible oh, they sitting, thing? Yeah, they were sitting there at different times. Oh. So what? They talk about resurrection, Phoenix rising from the ashes, but nothing about a stone that brings people back from the dead. The spirit is behind a veil that we lift and she magically appears. Yeah. This is necromancy. A long day. I have little energy for your riddles. Gettysburg, 1863. You sent Oscar to check on me. Had it been you, it would change the entire course of my life. I was supposed to be dead. And I was supposed to be your son. How do you know? Oscar. But don't worry, Mommy. He's in the middle of a riverbane detox. Give me Elena. Maybe I won't kill him. Yeah. You will not lay a hand on another member of my family. Give me back Elena. Uh, this the whole time. family thing really irks me at first. No, I get it. You loved me in the time past, and you moved on to a new family. Well, so did I. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, we end this mutual disdain once and for all. Yeah, you hurt my family, I'm gonna hurt your family. Mm -hmm. I like that. Like, I'm just as devoted as you. Well, let's, okay, let's just do the switch, and then there yeah. you go. That's yeah. it. Yeah, perfect. He's not killing her, which I think is smart. Yeah. Yeah. Because I would have been dumb if you killed her. Oh, it's Caroline. Kill her. Say um, I hope she doesn't get pissed off at him for not telling her. Like, I was just a kid. Like, yeah. Circumstance. Valerie's out of the prison world. Is that changed anything for you? Of course not. Don't push him away. I wonder what would have happened if Valerie would have shown up to meet you. I don't wonder anymore. I don't care about the past. All I care is that you're here. I think deep down he does a lie, but okay. Like coming down hard. He's okay. She's okay. A college town near Mystic Falls. Have you done your duty to the family and found Julian yet? Can you keep a secret? I have no idea. I found him months ago. Oh. You're right. She's gonna kill him, isn't she? Yeah. So Lily's at this. To be honest, if anything, it feels like Lily is the fucking, like, kingpin of this. Why are they all scared of her? Okay, I'm gonna start. So Lily has no idea that no. Julian is this yeah. bad person. Yeah. Okay, but Valerie him. knows. Yeah. Okay, if anything, shouldn't Valerie get the information from him so that... They could both snitch? Well, so she can go kill him. Yeah, that's true. Or too. some, I mean, a plan or like. Well, I don't know. I feel like she's probably stronger than him, so. If I had to take a guess because. Well, actually, she. I think he. No, 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 no. Sorry. I thought he was a vampire, but he wasn't. So, yeah, no. Maybe if she can, like. If she could just be smart and, like, trap him in a way and then she could just, like. Yeah. Like, kill him or beat him up or something. I don't know. Or kill someone that he loves or something like that. Like, yeah. she should do that. Um, yeah, but no, I, I, this episode, I really did enjoy it too. I thought it was very good. Um, again, I do see people making, I, I do have questions. This is the biggest question about, they need to explain this a lot better about the heretics. Um, I know you will get annoyed about this, but maybe some of you guys can answer this because I know they say that they can't, um, they can't be both. They never explained why, how this happens, you know? So that's something I want to know in the future. So, just let us know. Yeah, Comment, let, us know. let yeah. us know, so we know. <laughs> yeah, because that's going to bug me the whole season if they, if they never just tell us. The, pe the people will know. Yeah, you guys will tell us. Yeah. Oh, I, I want to talk about um, Valerie. Mm -hmm. Now, I do I do feel a little bad for her because I feel like... Yeah. Obviously, too. I mean, she you know lost her child because she was beaten up. and yeah. Sounds like maybe this guy... Uh, what's his name? Julian. Julian, yeah. Julian, you know, might have been abusing her yeah. for, I mean, we're not sure how long. No, but, well, she kicked the shit out of her, so. Well, I mean, even before, yeah. maybe you don't know if, it, if it's been before, yeah. too, but, um, you know, and she lost a love, mm -hmm. a, I mean, a possible love and, and a, a possible baby. future yeah. Yeah. and a family, yeah. and, but, you know, and so, so did Stefan, but he doesn't know that yeah. he lost a family, you know? Yeah. 
So, I, I do feel bad. But if anything, her. I kind of feel a little like, I feel somewhat that Lily has something to do with this too. Because why are these all people like um, scared to leave? This family, you know, like if she go do something about it, they're all starting. Like even this guy, this guy he wanted to leave. So, what? I mean, why can't they leave Lily? That's the problem I have with it. You know, like what's her people? Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. it comes across somewhat like I know. Like, I I don't like doing this, but it comes across kind of like Klaus's Klaus. You know, like don't leave the family, don't leave the family, or I'll kill everyone around you. <laughs> you know, it comes across like that a little bit. Now, again, she didn't know what was going behind her back with Julian, but um, if the stepdaddy's kicking the shit out of the kids, I'm telling mom, you know, and I think that's what I would have done, you know? Um, yeah. And Lily is smart. She didn't see, she doesn't see this? Yeah. Is that like... No, I think she's probably blind about love or some shit like that. But Love doesn't? It blinds um, you? I mean, you could be ignorant, you know, um, about stuff like that. Um, Maybe. You know, I feel like it comes across as the person to go over and tell, you know. Um, and maybe they were all too scared of Julian to do that. And it comes across as, I know this is kind of weird, I know they're all adults, but it comes across as child abuse a little bit, I will say. You know, they're, 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 yeah. they're, they're family and they're afraid to tell the mom because the dad will, you know, hit them or something like mm -hmm. that. So it is kind of a fucked up family, really. But I would say that my favorite part of this whole episode, I love the whole episode, but my favorite part is... When Damon told um, that you found a family, and I have, I found a family. And, and then we, we glimpsed yeah, over to yeah, Rick and Bonnie. Yeah, yeah. And I, I love that because it is true. They are fighting for their own family. It's like you're serious about you. You're serious about hurting my family. Well, I'm gonna hurt yours back, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, so in a way, they are kind of like you know, like he, he, they, the Damon and his mom is kind of like in essence. So the Sparrow Stone. Yeah. Um, so Bonnie gave it back to Rick. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's smart. Yeah, that's, I think it's a hundred percent. Maybe she should just keep it for now until they know what they're going to do with it. I would take a cruise because they all take a cruise and throw that bitch in the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> that's what I did. You know, um, because that's just going to cause nothing pro problems and call me heartless guys, call me heartless, but I think Rick could just take the L on this one. You are know? they, uh, is it because... They're not going to destroy it. Well, because he wants Joe back, but yeah. But is there another reason no, that we should be um, having this? Like this so, stone? No, the only reason why is to give Joe back. Barney's only doing it because of Rick, because he's his best friend. But I really feel like someone needs to intervene with these guys. And say, hey guys, hello, stupid idea. We have enough going on. Do yeah. we need Necromancy yeah. too? Yeah, I really feel like this. Like someone needs to do an intervention and say, guys, stop making stupid decisions. This is a stupid one. And if you're going to bring back someone, bring yeah. back Jen. Yeah, that too. Well, no, that she's on the other side. This is a different oh, yeah, situation. Yeah. And yeah. I think Bonnie explained too. It's like, um, the, the, we, the, those two are, Bonnie and Rick are different situations because they were on this other side. Yeah. You know, now that fell, that's different. Now her soul could be somewhere else, you know? I think she was human too, right? Because she wasn't... A, well, she gave away her magic. Well, did she get it Yeah, she did get her... I don't know. I don't know. Did she get it back at some point? Because she was practicing it. Now I'm thinking about it. She gave it back, but I think she... She got it back, but I think she got rid of it. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, she got rid of so it. So she was technically human, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. I could be wrong, but I think she was human. So she would be, like, in wherever humans go when they die in this world. Heaven you know, or heaven something. Or something like that. And if I'm in heaven and you pull my ass down, oh my God. <laughs> I want a divorce. Like, no. If anything, she might be even more depressed yeah. because, you know, her, she died and her unborn yeah. twins died. Yeah. So, I mean, is that is that rock going to bring back zombie yeah. babies too? Oh, yeah, that's going to be weird. Because she might be, de I don't know, I yeah. just let her go. I feel like, yeah, just let her go, you know. And yeah. maybe not date for a while. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> Yeah, because every girl you date. Yeah, right? so I, maybe I just, just I don't see nothing not good date. from this, and I, I don't see I don't see no good things happening from you this. You know what, situation. Rick? Get a hobby. You know, yeah. like maybe do some I, horseback riding or yeah. something. I don't know. And I like, think that's what Stefan was saying earlier in this episode too, where like he missed his mom so much, so he distracted himself. You know. Yeah. I think that's what he needs to do. Maybe put himself into. I think what would be really cool is if he put all his work into. Like hunting vampires, some shit like that, you know? Yeah. I think oh, you know really what? Cool. Go to Jeremy. 
Yeah. Well, Jeremy, I think he's just off the show right now. I I know, but like you know, like maybe go you know go with Jeremy. You know, it's this this is the show. Yeah. Say hey, you know what? I'm taking a couple weeks off. I'm gonna go with Jeremy, and we're gonna go do some hunting. Maybe that'll be good for him. Technically, you know, I think it'll be even cooler. I mean, I get the whole Jeremy thing and bonding and all that stuff. I think it'll be better if he decides to go by himself and just. I would love to see like a rageful pissed off Rick like he just going ham you know like <laughs> just going bloody you know like Punisher style or some shit yeah, like that yeah oh maybe yeah maybe don't that's do that that's all I want because I feel like if he's with Jeremy he'll probably try to like say he's not man or some shit like that and I feel like if he's with Damon they'll just try to drink I feel like he needs to punch something and that's the type of Rick I would like to see you know yeah um, not someone trying to bring back his dead wife Anyway, um, again, fantastic, fantastic episode. If you guys want to be full, you have to check out the Patreon. The link's in the description, and we'll see you guys next week.